Hello, LinkedIn community. My name is Sophia Marine. I'm a cybersecurity enthusiast and an incident responder. Um, this is going to be a video series that we're going to be um, starting off today. It's going to be five series. So the first series, it's going to be explaining an adversary in the middle attack technique using Evelix as a framework for this phishing attack. As well, we're going to second video is going to be related how to achieve forensic evidence of this type of attacks the third one it's going to be how to create an impact statement out of the forensic evidence we have achieved the fourth is going to be the lesson learned what can we set for a security posture after an incident and the fifth one it's going to be um, an overall of best practices of incident response in the Azure Active Directory and also in the Office 365 platform. So hope you enjoyed the series. So let's start. Um, let's start by explaining which is this adversary in the middle attack technique. Okay. Um, I have here the attack technique, Madmitre, that it's the cloud attack technique T1557, in which it describes, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, show it. So here we're talking that there is a network sniffing or data transmission um, in what we're going to try to achieve is collect a cookie. And in this case for Azure, it's going to be a session cookie that we're going to intercept. What the user is going to be leaving is that the Evelynx framework creates the link for communication and works as a reverse proxy. So um, the data that is collected within it is going to be internal. Now, um, Evelynx, it's a, uh, there's different types of frameworks you can use for this type of attacks. This is one of the most common and easy to configure. You only need to have a DNS configuration and uh, pointing out to the Evelynx proxy. And right now in my lab, I have it uh, configured for locally, so I don't have an exterior DNS. Now, we are going to go ahead and create the link. Uh, one of the things is that we also have to create the phishing email that we want to send out. So the link that we're going to create has to be sent out to the user and it does require user interaction. So let's begin that part. So over here, I already enabled the uh, fishlets. So the fishlets are the ones that you download um, and then put it on the folder for the fishlets. So they have a links configuration um, over here. I just go ahead and enable the fishlets after I have configured my DNS and I will create the Lorene um, link for the redirection. Okay, so we create the link. And we're going to get that URL. So this is how it's going to be looking at, and we're going to move to a browser. And we're going to send out that email. So I already had like a template. So we're going to just reuse. Of course, this is as creative as you like to get, right? You could add anything. This is just a quick example for the demo. Gonna just make a display exactly the same as we did. Okay. And even though this is of course just for testing, we're gonna we send it to the same user. Okay. Yeah. So we received it. 
and now we're gonna make as you could see down on the screen below you could see where the link is so we're gonna now demo when they access the link okay here is a link now the end user has no idea and we're gonna assign me to it Here we are. Okay. Say so never. We're going to authenticate. Okay. I'm using the MS Authenticator app actually. So there's different ways of having MFA. One of them uh, would be through phone call, text message, or even using the application. We're going to say yes. And now we get the message that all the recession tokens have been intercepted. The user would think that he has signed in, but actually because that was intercepted, he's just going to reload again the page and try again to sign in. We're not going to do that. We're going to go ahead, take a look at sessions and all the ones. We have session number four that has been captured. Um, you could see the password. We're going to do four. And this is going to also provide me the cookie. So now we're going to go, um, I'm going to change browsers now. I'm going to go for Chrome. Um, I have one of the uh, cookie extensions. So you could see there's no cookies. So basically we're going to insert this cookie and we're also going to analyze the cookie later today. So import. Going to portal.office. We know the cookie is there. Okay, so we have already that cookie export. We're going to try to sign in. We put the user UPN and we hit refresh. Okay, and that's how we go in, right? So, just to be super clear, um, there's a couple of very interesting things of the output of this type of attack. Um, you'll know the type of fish link. You will know, of course, the password in case that um, you do any other sort of MFA sweep for a specific application like MS Graph or a PowerShell or Azure CLI, you'll see it. And secondly, um, you're going to see which is the type of MFA authentication. So we know it's phone application. Now, this is going to be important if the actor considers doing other sorts of um, attack like MFA Bowman. That's another attack known against MFA. Um, to cover certain of the information that we're going to see, uh, right now, the user right has to go ahead and fulfill the first MFA. MFA only reduces to a 20% the likelihood of having the uh, compromised identity. Okay, um, This utility that we have here, um, the Evelnix, can apply to multiple URLs. It's not only like with Microsoft or Office 365, it can be used with different ones. And you can also have redirect URLs. Um, but as you could see, this is the landing URL, the one that is given to the user. And uh, that's it for all. Hope you like it and hope you stay tuned for the next four series on the topic of ATM adversary in the middle attack techniques. Thank you.